All right, in this video we will talk about sketching the graph of a polynomial based on the zeros, or the roots. Um, but real quick, we need to talk about multiplicity. All right, because look, um, you know, if, if you have a polynomial and it factors down as whatever, x minus 1 times x plus 3, then you're going to have two roots. You're going to have x equals 1 and x equals negative 3. All right? That means you're going to have these two x-intercepts. You're going to have an x-intercept at 1 and at negative 3. So let's see here. I have 1 and I have 1, 2, 3. Okay, that's negative 3. Okay, um, this is quadratic. All right, I just have the two x's. So it's like a, a parabola. So in this case, uh, my sketch would look something like this. All right, so this is the normal condition. Um, but what you have to understand is um, these are single roots. All right, they're just one of each of them. Um, but imagine that I had something like this. Instead of um, having just x minus 1, Imagine that is x minus 1 squared. That's multiplicity 2. Now, this is still going to give me a root of 1. All right? But because it's squared, you know, this is a, a, a double root. And uh, what you have to realize is the behavior of a graph at a double root is going to be different. Um, if there's a double root, you're going to get a bounce. All right? Like this. So this is quadratic, it's still going to be a parabola, but the reason why it can work out is because of the bounce. You just have the one root, it hits the one root, goes back the way it came, um, you have a bounce at a double root. Now, what happens at a triple root? Um, if you have a triple root, so say if this was x minus 1 to the third power, you have what is called an inflection. Okay, so I'm going to have this uh, root at 1 still, but it's not going to be a bounce. Oh, no. An inflection is like if you made half of a parabola. Okay, let me do a slightly better job than that. Maybe if I draw it out this way. Okay, you know, imagine I were trying to draw a parabola, right? So I might draw my parabola like this, wouldn't I? Um, but imagine that if I took half of the parabola and flipped it upside down. Okay, so then instead it would be looking more like this. All right, that's what an inflection is. It's like curving in one way and then it curves back out the other way. All right, like half of, of a parabola up, other half of a parabola down. It's an inflection. Um, that's what happens at a triple root. All right, that's the main thing. Uh, thing that you have to watch out for. Um, if there is a uh, fourth root, uh, you know, if it's um, a quadruple root, then it's still, you know, sort of like a bounce, but it's a little flatter. You know, it still goes back out the way it came. It's still kind of a bounce, um, but it's a, like a flatter bounce. Um, how are you going to tell between a quadruple and a double? Yeah, you know, you're not really going to be able to tell very easily. So, just fake it. Do your best. All right, so what's happening here? Um, I have two normal roots, all right? I've got the negative 3 and I've got the 0, all right? That means it should just be passing straight through. But I've got this one double. What happens at a double root? that's going to be a bounce. So it should be through, through, and then a bounce. Okay, so what's happening? Um, we've got negative 3, 0, and we've got 1. So let's see. So I've got 1, 2, 3. All right, so here's my negative 3. Of course, 0, and then here's my 1 is over there. So I'm going to have these roots. I've got my negative 3, and I've got my 0, and I've got my 1. 
OK. Now, do I know anything else about this polynomial? No, I don't know um, if it should be starting up, facing up, or down. So it doesn't matter. There, you're going to have more than one possible answer. All right, so I'm going to start from an up position. Now, when I get to the 3 and the 0, these are both just going to go straight through, all right, because they are single roots. So I'm going to start from up high. Um, but I know when I get to this first root, it's just going to go straight through that thing. And then when it comes around to the zero, it's got to go through that as well. But somehow, when it gets to the next one, it's got to be doing a bounce. Got to do a bounce at this one. So I'm going to curve around pretty swiftly so I can get back into bouncing position. So I can do like this and do my bounce. So there, my graph is going to look something basically like that. All right, through, through, and a bounce. All right, I could have flipped this whole thing upside down and gone through, through, bounce, um, and that would also be correct.